Kim Kardashian did attend the wedding, but without Pete Davidson, have you met Pete yet? What do you think of this new romance? No, I've never met him. It's funny, at the wedding, Kim joked, I'm gonna catch that bouquet. <laughs> I was like, yeah, get in line, all the girls are waiting. Well, good morning. Good to see you over Zoom. Good morning. Have, have you recovered from, from all the wedding festivities? I have just recovered from the <laughs> wedding festivities. Has Paris recovered? Is she back from the honeymoon yet? Is she still? No, her honeymoon's just begun. She's doing seven weeks. Seven weeks of a honeymoon? Yes. Talk about a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I, Has she been texting you pictures? You know what? She must be having a really good time because I haven't heard from her that much. Oh, that's a good sign. She, I yeah, so it sounds like she's disconnecting and enjoying a real vacation, which I'm yeah. pleased about. I feel like it was such a marathon of wedding events and parties. Was there a highlight or an emotional moment that stands out to you? I mean, to not many people's surprise, my one of my favorite parts of the whole wedding process is definitely the fashion and the dress and just working with Oscar de la Renta team and watching her create her dream dress with them and the flower girl dresses. And then yeah. we had um, our friend Stacy Bendette of Alice and Olivia do all the custom bridesmaids dresses. So that's, that's always a fun element of a wedding. Your daughters, they're so young. Are they kind of following in your footsteps with this love of fashion and design yet? I mean, they love dressing up, but if they're not dressing up in designer stuff, it's more Disney costumes for Christmas. Uh -huh. I promise them I will take them to Disneyland to meet all the princesses. Who's their favorite right now? Elsa, Frozen. Uh -huh. Of course, I feel like all, yeah, all kids right now love Frozen. Speaking of fashion, I mean, I know you mentioned Paris's dress. What other um, standout fashion moments from her wedding weekend did you did you love? Um, I loved the Alice and Olivia bridesmaids dresses. Which else? The neon night that was fun. Yeah, and I love that everyone followed the theme, and we just descended on the Santa Monica Pier and it just looked like this neon carnival. Literally like Coachella neon carnival. I don't yes. know. Like, <laughs> so good. I didn't what, know how it would translate, but I think it was my favorite night of the whole weekend. What was kind of going on behind the scenes that weekend? I mean, did Paris have any pre-wedding jitters? Yeah, she was, she was stressed. She was still writing her vows as we were walking down to go down the aisle. No! <laughs> He's a procrastinator. Right. Did you help her out with her vows at all? No, I didn't. She did that all on her own. Oh, wow. What did you tell her to kind of calm those nerves? I have just, you know, said you just want to enjoy this moment and go around and talk to your friends and say hello to all the guests that are here to see you and celebrate you and to have fun, because so many people forget to have fun at their wedding because they're just so stressed. Right, and it goes by so fast, you want to be able to like enjoy that moment because yeah. you wake so up and all day. in. Yeah, exactly. You you and Paris have obviously grown up in the spotlight. Um, when you think about the upcoming episodes of Paris and Love, what are we going to learn about you guys that might surprise us? I think this is the first time Paris has really been vulnerable on camera and she's really not holding back. You're going to see a different side of her with her friends, her family, her activism, going to Capitol Hill, going to Provo. She really covers it all and the cameras are with her every step of the way. Her and Carter just seem so happy together. As her sister, what do you love most about her and Carter together, why are they a good match? I think they just bring out the best in each other and they're really supportive of each other's 
businesses and they have a good time together. Paris has um, been very vocal about wanting to be a mom one day. Mm -hmm. What kind of mom do you think she will be? I don't think she'll be a strict mom, although she says she will, but <laughs> she has so much love to give and I know she's been waiting for this moment, so I'm very excited for her. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.